guys, it's me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and I'm coming to you today with another exciting edition of Ask an Aquarius. So if you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about the elements, okay? The elements in astrology are earth, air, fire, and water, okay? Earth is represented by physical things, the earth uh, your body, you know, homes, anything that's physical, objects, possessions, things, cars, those are physical things, okay? Air is represented by intellectual things, thoughts, ideas, concepts, principles. That's why the Aquarius is always so damn idealistic, you know, caught up in all those thoughts. Um, fire is represented by spirit. Fire, fiery people have a tendency to be very high spirited as they call them and uh, water signs are represented by emotion um, water is represented as emotion in the ancient depictions so when you're dealing with people who are in these signs especially when there's a lot of it in their chart, when it's their sun sign, their moon sign, their rising sign, or it's a lot of placements in their chart, these people have the tendency to have more of these energies. So one of the things I get a lot of, I get a lot of people who are upset about their nature. I had a man say to me the other night that he was so upset with me because I called water signs overly emotional and I was like I didn't call them overly emotional I said water signs are emotional overly and emotion overly emotional and emotional are two different things I I see emotion as a lake I see overly emotional as an ocean <laughs> okay a lake is smaller is very well maintained and controlled and an ocean is overflowing, takes over everything, and bear, takes up most of the planet, you know, and is always reclaiming parts of the planet, you know. So those are two different things, two totally different concepts. Now, they're both water, you know, but they're both, one is uncontrolled and one is more controlled, one is more maintained. So I said to him, you know, before I block you, let me just tell you that I feel like being emotional is not a bad thing. Being an emotional person is not a bad thing. It's part of your sign. Just embrace what you are. It doesn't have to be negative. I think it's good to be emotional because I'm an Aquarius and I'm not emotional. Well, I am, but... I hold it back. <laughs> I hold it back or I compartmentalize it nine times out of 10. But I admire and kind of envy people who are able to process and deal with their emotions easily. You know, um, I'm like, wow, like I'm looking at him like, damn, you know, but I'm OK because in the back of my mind, I'm like, that's just not my nature. So whatever your nature is, is OK. Don't try to fight against your nature. If you are emotional, be emotional. If you're detached, be attached. If you're into physical things, be into them. If you're fiery, be fiery. Is who you are. Don't beat yourself up or change or argue with another person about who you are. Be who you are. That's who you're supposed to be. A person who is a, um, is a, is a fire sign. And we'll call them fiery, you know, fire can be a good thing. That can be a positive thing. Being fiery can be motivated. Being fiery can be passionate, you know, it could be da a dancer, you know, um, that fire can be a lot of great things, but it can also be a scorcher <laughs> who burns down villages, you know, like I always talk about my dragon, you know, the dragon could be the fire. Fire can be positive. Fire can be negative. Water can be positive. Water could be negative. It's up to you how it is, but don't fight against your nature. You are what you are. I'm an Aquarius. I don't fight being an Aquarius. You know, if it's something about myself that is in my sign that I don't particularly care for, I do work on it. Yeah, I do work on it, but I don't sit there and berate myself or argue the point with others. If somebody calls me aloof, 
eccentric, detached, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I just, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and argue the point with the person because they're, they're telling the truth. And that is the truth, you know? And I noticed that this happens a lot. It doesn't happen with air signs. It doesn't happen with fire signs. It don't even happen with earth signs. But water signs almost always get upset with me about my view about them being emotional. But you are emotional. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to be. I get I get letters, angry letters from them all the time. And it's always funny to me because they're always arguing with me about calling them emotional or pointing out that they have a lot of water. But then they hit me up and express a lot of water. A lot of them become unhinged, to be honest with you. Nastiness. One girl, she tried to cuss me out before I blocked her. The guy that hit me up the other night was angry as hell. And I'm looking at it like you are showing exactly what I'm talking about. You're being overly emotional. You're hitting up a stranger. And in this case, it is overly emotional. In this case, it's the ocean. Because you're hitting up a stranger, angry with them because they told the truth about your sign. Nothing negative. All I said was that they're prone to being emotional. Now, that doesn't mean you're unhinged. That doesn't mean you're neurotic because you're emotional. It means you're able to utilize your emotions. It means that you can figure out your emotions, my emotions, and probably everybody else is in the room faster than anybody else. That, to me, is a superpower. It only becomes a problem when you start throwing up those emotions on other people. Like in the case of this guy in my inbox. That's when it becomes a problem. And I said to him, I said, your emotions had to have been triggered by what I said. And before I had a chance to block him, one of the things that he said to me was that men aren't emotional. I don't know what you're talking about. Men are never emotional. You don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, you done lost your mind. <laughs> you done lost your mind. So whatever your sign is, if you're an airy, aloof Aquarius, an airy Gemini, the air signs, we always get dogged. We get dogged for being flighty all the time. Aloof all the time, you know, um, overthinking all the time. We always get dog for those things. But I don't argue those points with people. I don't take it negatively and I don't take it personally. It's just part of my, it's part of having an air element. Period. That's just what it is. So my thing to you is that if you learn anything from me, learn to just accept yourself. Learn to accept you as you are. If there are parts of you that you don't like, change them. You know, change them. But accept yourself as you are. We're all different. And that's okay. All right? Accept yourself. Accept your elements. Embrace your elements. Embrace the positive aspects of your elements. If you're emotional, embrace that. You know? If you're fiery, embrace it. If you're one of those stubborn Capricorns that likes to count every dime, you got money. Embrace it. <laughs> embrace that. And the parts of it, like I said, that you don't particularly care for, you work on them. You, you soften them. You change them if you want to. I'm very noncommittal. And that comes from the Aquarius and my Sagittarius moon. I'm very noncommittal. And as I get older, I, t I tell myself, like, you know what? That's just who you are. Do the best with it that you can, you know? Look, it's like a game of poker. We all get a hand. Just play the hand. You're not getting another one. <laughs> That's the hand you got. And you're not getting another one until your next life. So just deal with what you got. And don't argue that point. Just embrace it. And work it. And try to make it as positive as you possibly can. Okay? Cool. If you like my videos, please share them and hit the like button so I know that you like them. See you later.